What's up, Treehouse, Tree Buzz, and YouTube in general? We're making this little video to talk about the monkey beaver harness, which is now available from New Tribe. We're just gonna go around the belt a little bit and talk about it first. This is Joe Boyd. He is uh, one of the main. Well, he's he's a huge influence on the belt. Me and Casey at New Tribe and Joe. So uh, we'll just start right here. Smaller D rings. I used to run uh, really large D rings on the side just because I could use a Beckett if I wanted to. Um, a lot of young guys maybe not even know what that is, but it's a, it's a way that you could turn any rope into an adjustable um, flip line. Well, nowadays we just need room for a carabiner on one side, a snap on the other. So we went with smaller, uh, they call them hippo ears or whatever, but small D's here. This doesn't come on the belt, but this is a vault. And it's just a real big, uh, holds a lot of gear. You can put a lot of things on it if you like it. Now these are the storage D's that people are asking us about. Like, what's with those big D's on the back? Well, like these, they're made to, to uh, orient out. So they wait there like big, hungry, um, available places to put stuff. And they're just really, really convenient. Um, maybe look a little funny to some people, but we're talking about efficiency. We're talking about ease of use. So these things wait there hungry. You know, I put my GoPro clamps on them and you can hang a lot of stuff on them and they just kind of wait there ready. The whole belt, um, when you get it new, is five pounds, 4.8 pounds or something like that. You know, this is lightweight stuff. It's stiff, it's metal. It's not bendy, loopy, kind of dangly. It's quick, it's easy, it's cool. We love it. And maybe somebody doesn't like it, but it has a purpose. These are the MCRS suspenders, but I think New Tribe makes their own version and who knows where else you could get them. But. And Joe, explain this. Uh, it's just an accessory snap that I like to keep a hand ascender back here. So it doesn't. Whatever there. It doesn't kind of fly of, around and tangle up. Yeah, it's it's not dangling down, so it's easy to snap into. Uh, it's not very big. You could hook uh, over the shoulder lanyard here if you want to advance an SRT system, or you could cut it off, I guess. But either way, yeah. it's there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then it has uh, slots or pockets. Yeah, the vault. There's a, there's a pocket on each side. Uh, there's also one on the back here, kind of a little first aid bandage kit there. But you can set it up different ways like that. So it's kind of modular. Um, we use a transporter on this side for the saw. Now, on the uh, lanyard, you, you clip in here, and then where you short connect your saw, you got this healthy underbite on the transporter. And you, you guys have watched me probably on YouTube. I kind of hang up things fast, and um, it's a it's a design for that. It's it's made for quickly getting your saw on and off. And again, New Tribe's not going to sell these. You, this is an accessory. Not everybody will want it. So um, if you want it, put it on there. There's a slot for it. Yeah, you could put a care tool or whatever in there. Yep. You could put a carabiner just shoved in there like a lot of people have done in the past. Yep. And um, it would hold it tight. These aren't life support, we should mention that. Those are for gear only. Okay. These are not life support. Um, they're for gear. They're handy that way. It has ISC buckles all the way around. Real quick on and off, even on the legs. We'll go into that in a minute when we talk about putting it, putting it on. But uh, that's basically, it's got some logo. This this belt, open that up. This belt's got some extra logos and stuff. But that's not how they come. That was just us playing around with design stuff. So it will come with these big logos here. Maybe not everybody will want that. I could tear them off or, or have a new tribe not put them on. So Joe, tell them a little about the suspension system. Uh, the suspension is basically identical to that of the Onyx, which 
uh, is a pretty popular harness made by New Tribe, so the adjustments would all be basically the same as far as setting it up. And it can be, uh, like you know, sucked up all the way tight, or That's it how can I wear be mine. run down farther on your legs. It's totally adjustable. Uh, you can put it wherever you want. I wear mine uh, all the way up because basically I'm the type of guy that worked for years with a seat saddle and so I kind of like the seat saddle feel up. Most guys with leg saddles run them down like this. Joe keeps his kind of down low. So next we'll put it on. We'll show you a couple ways this goes on kind of easy. If you have the suspenders on it, which I don't use the suspenders but most people do, then show them how. It's just real. I just put it on like a backpack. Put it where I want it. And buckle it up. So the adjustable bridge, you just adjust it out and show them how you can if you don't have suspenders, you can use the bridge to put it on. You can also put it on with the bridge like a backpack. Yeah, so the reason why that is kind of important or interesting to me is I have for years put on belts over rain gear and with seat saddles you could real easy just put it on over the rain gear and get the, the rain gear kind of all pleated exactly how you want it. With leg saddles you're usually stepping through the bridge and stepping into the leg pads and trying to like tuck your rain gear in afterwards and it's kind of a pain to get comfy and then later as you're climbing you've got this spot where the belt's like mashing a pleat of rain gear or clothing all bunched up into your body and it just sucks and so oh, part of what we wanted with this is the leg saddle comfort and maneuverability with the ability to easily put it on just like a belt like a seat saddle and so you adjust the bridge out and you do what Joe did there and easy peasy. Show them how you uh, you can fine tune the legs. We have extra adjustments here. Alright, so we have an extra strap here and buckle. Um, and that's just to keep the leg pad where you want it. Once you have your harness adjusted, you have it where you want it. You buckle these, tighten them up a little bit, and it basically makes the leg pad part of your leg. Now it doesn't move, it doesn't ride up, it doesn't rotate, it stays put. Uh, when you're walking around, it stays put. When you're on the spar, it stays put. When you're limb walking, it stays put. So it's just more uh, overall comfort and usability. Uh, with the buckles on the inside, it keeps them from rotating into an uncomfortable position. Mm -hmm. uh, it also has on the straps, it has an extra little buckle on here that you can slide up and use as a stopper to keep them from rotating mm -hmm. in and around. And it just helps keep everything centered and where you want it once you get the, uh, the adjustment final. Yeah. And you kind of, you, you start to fall in love with it if you use it a bit and you start to get it really tuned into your body. A uh, guy who's been using one for quite a while now besides Joe is um, Ben known on YouTube as Still Mad and uh, he dialed his in and he loves it. Alright so this part of the video the belt does not come with an adjustable bridge there are rule makers in high places that say that a mechanical adjustable bridge hasn't been perfected um, they don't want you using a rope grab uh, they don't want it as primary support we're not suggesting yeah, we're not advocating the use of any particular adjuster. We're just talking right. about uh, the benefits of an adjustable bridge. We're saying the adjustable bridge is the future. However People in you, high places, wherever you are. Yeah. They don't want it uh, and a, a mechanical rope grab as a 
uh, attached to your primary, okay? But it's okay for your flip line. But let me ask you, when you unhook your, when you put your flip line around the tree and then you unhook your primary line to hook it somewhere else, what's your primary during the time that you're rehooking your primary somewhere else? It is the flip line and we think um, it's a bit silly. That said though, the belt doesn't come with an adjustable bridge. We set it up that way because we like, tell them, tell them why you love the adjustable bridge. Um, well, first of all, if you're using a, a double rope system, whether it's a zigzag or a unisender or a hitch climber or just basically anything, especially something that self advances, um, with the adjustable bridge, you can put it out where you have the most efficient pull. Um, and it's about as good as it gets as far as ascending double rope. So your hand is not conflicting with your hardware above you because you've put it up of, above yeah, you. Yeah, you get a full pull, uh, no sit back. Full pull, no sit back. Okay, now, now show them what it's like when you, let's say you go up there and then, um, sure, this is a little bit far, far away, but show them how you get it back with the quick adjustable oh, mechanical bridge. Yeah, let's also show the, the difference between, this is typically how it's done. And then pull some slack out. Yeah. Hey, look, this is fun. <laughs> and it looks harder. Yeah. We're not trying to look like an infomercial here. <laughs> But if you adjust your bridge all the way out and then just pull on the bottom of the rope. You're held up the entire time. It's 100% go. And it's that quick to make it short again. Yeah. He did it so fast I didn't see it. <laughs> it's on the camera. Yeah. So, uh, um, and it's possible to adjust it even while you're hanging if you're uh, careful. Show but it. It's, Let's do it. Adjust it while you're hanging. You've okay. got it adjusted all the way out. Probably recommended that you're lanyarded in when you do that though. Right. Must be lanyarded in at all times. Yeah. But um, really if you just rock like this. Boom. Now you've just moved all your hardware right down within reach real close. And really you should make the length of your bridge so it can't get too far out of reach. And, and on reach that subject, on the length of the bridge, when you're SRT, show them how quickly you um, change the bridge for SRT. So, by shortening up the bridge, you can give yourself... Look how short the bridge is. I look mean, how solid that is. Yeah. For advancing your system. Yeah. There's if no you have off. the right diameter rope with this um, unicinder, and you're just climbing up through the limbs, it will yeah, fall you can through them. Yeah, climb the tree. Yeah. So basically, I guess what we're doing here is we're... We're... Um, we're saying this is how we use the belt and we're calling to designers to make an adjustable gizmo for the bridge that is mechanical. Now the reason we think it should be mechanical is... And, and a rope grab in particular. I've tried a bunch of different things and it's about the smallest, simplest, most efficient thing you can have. It doesn't get activated when you hit the top of it easy to use. We just need one that says, or one that doesn't say not for primary life support on it. Right. So Petzl makes uh, one that an adjustable rope bridge thing, but it, it work, it's, it's, uh, it's not as easy as this. Okay. So, and we've tried the hitches. The hitches tend to actuate easily when you're twisting. And so you could be twisted like this, the hitch gets actuated, and next thing you know, your bridge is going out voluntarily when you don't want it to. And the mechanical adjustable bridge is um, consistent. 
stable. And show them how easy it comes off. It's not like stepping out of a wet pair of pants or something. It's ISC buckles. That's it. Okay. Time for lunch or whatever. It's slick. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to talk too long, but to summarize, belt's comfortable, it's uh, customizable, a lot of different body styles can find the happy place that it fits good. Um, there's ways to fine tune it. Um, it has adjustable, um, you, can, you can put these uh, more padding in uh, if you want, stuff like that that we didn't mention. Um, the future of, of climbing harnesses, in my opinion, is a mechanical adjustable bridge. Someday they're going to perfect it and everybody's going to love it and everybody's going to vote yes or whatever. Uh, until then, we're using it this way. We like it. Um, do it if you want. Don't do it if you disagree. I've used a fixed bridge um, for years and years and years, okay? And um, I'm liking this. So a little bit about New Tribe. New Tribe and me go way back. Um, they made custom belts for me for years, long before YouTube. I don't even know how long, maybe like 15 years, but more, I don't know, a long time. Uh, they've been doing stuff for me. So I would go in there, I would tell them what I wanted, they would make it, and um, I would use it. One time my belt was stolen, and um, they got wind of that. They made me a brand new custom belt, not just like stamped out or whatever, not that they have any that are stamped out. They made me a brand new custom belt to my specs and just handed it to me, you know? It's like, that's cool. We're talking about small town, small town America, uh, working out of their home type of deal. And uh, another time, um, they wanted to see my belt. It had been a couple years. I showed it to them and they, they wanted to see how it was wearing and there was a couple places where they thought it was worn too far. And they traded, <laughs> they took my belt and said, listen, if you will stop using this. And I was like, no, no, I don't need to stop using it. It's got a lot of life left. And they're like, actually, that's not okay. And I was like, yes, it is. And they were like, no, it isn't. And they took the belt and they gave me a brand new one in exchange for my old belt, just so that they could study it, gain education to properly um, do a better job in the future. Cool people. And as far as, you know, the, the logos and stuff all over, uh, the monkey beaver thing, um, that just came, I don't know if people know, uh, most people uh, support us and, and, and have fun with it like we do. There's a few people that think it's like some kind of shameless marketing or something. Like we're uh, living in the Trump Tower and trying to take over the world. But listen, uh, when we make these videos about uh, glamorizing like tree work and trying to look like James Bond or whatever, uh, we're laughing our heads off the whole time. We're having a blast. We got a new video coming out called the A Team where a bunch of us got together from literally all over the country and world to shoot this video and it was hysterical. We're trying to look really cool on film but behind the scenes we are seriously laughing about it. Uh, the monkey beaver thing, I wrote this poem called Made For This. It was about us, the, the, the climbers across the world really. Um, I of course was trying to talk about myself like I was amazing or whatever, but I was also including everyone else, okay? And uh, and people loved it. And then now there's like a few people that are like, uh, I don't dig how this guy glorifies himself or whatever. Listen, we're just having fun. We actually don't take ourselves as serious as some people think. And maybe you shouldn't take yourself so serious, you know? It's just a fun, you know, I ran out of energy for, for tree work at, after about 25 years. And when GoPro came out and I realized I could like create something with my work beyond just doing it at work, it kind of gave me new energy and then uh, it's kind of led to this. And I don't want to be moaning the subject, talk about it too much or whatever, but uh, if you don't like it, if you don't want them stickers on your belt or whatever, you don't have to order them that way. You don't have to have the belt. Uh, a belt is not gonna make or break a climber. Uh, man, I climbed on weaver belts for years and did a lot of great stuff. Did a lot of lame stuff too. But this belt, you know, it is an example of evolution, I guess you'd say. Um, it's cool. It works. And uh, I hope you like it. And uh, if you don't, then, you know, new, uh, what is it? Um, the. Uh, 
Uh, the tree motion there's just a lot of great belts out there reg coats uh was talking about a, a stein belt looks great buckingham you know you don't gotta buy this belt so anyway yeah i went off and talked too much but uh here's our video on the monkey beaver belt hope you like it thanks